So this is a post test review of the uh, Pony uh, in Chrome. So after uh, 20 some thousand cycles, uh, the tail actually broke off due to that 10 thou interference that I put on the model. So wasn't able to get up to 100,000 cycles like I was hoping, but um, this is a, definitely a good starting point for kind of checking out Class A uh, surface finish versus, versus MJF TPU. So a uh, previous video that I showed you of the pony before I started, I kind of made a point of showing the edge of the pony, uh, which was going to be in heavy contact after that first 10,000 cycles being lined up correctly. Um, you know, the next 20,000 cycles were going to be, you know, quite a bit off, you know, that 10,000 shim pack that I put in there. Um, just to uh, give you a little bit of background, I've had this pony for quite a while and uh, used it as a sample part um, in my uh, MJF sample kit. Um, any of you guys that have ever seen me do a lunch and learn or a SolidWorks World presentation will recognize this pony. So some of the surface scratches that you can see in the body, um, a lot of that is from just rattling around in my bag and me not necessarily taking the best care of this. But I guess the area I really want to focus on is this edge. Um, specifically, after I, uh, I pulled the pony out of the test stand, um, I went around the part with a lint-free lint -free cloth and uh, isopropyl alcohol and just kind of gave it a good, uh, a good rub down um, just to take off. There was some residual rubber that was sort of built up on the part. Um, you know, over all those cycles, it, it just kind of starts to cling to the part. But um, I really can't see any major marring around the outside of this part. And the area I want you particularly to focus on is this back area where my thumb's at right here. And I'll show you why here in a second. Um, kind of playing the light uh, in this white box. Um, it just looks really good. I, I don't see any real surface blemishes there. And kind of the same for the tail. <clears throat> um, you know, tail looks really good. And especially, um, again, around the edges where it was in heavy contact with the uh, with the nesting, uh, I really don't see any any surface blemishes or anywhere where the they started to flake off chrome or it left permanent scratches. So, and now I'll show you why I'm specifically interested in uh, in those back couple in those bottom areas along this this side of the pony right here. So this is the nest. Um, after you know the 10,000 cycles of uh, being in alignment, and then another 20,000 plus cycles uh, with a bad misalignment, and you know looking at it right now, it, it actually you know doesn't look too terribly worse for wear until you spin it around this way, and you can literally see the areas where we wore you know rubber off of the part. Um, I'm gonna try and get my camera to autofocus here. There we go. So, I mean, you can see the dramatic step. You can actually make out the step where we wore rubber off of the part. And now remember, pony fits in there like that. So that area that I was pointing out, which was this area right here, um, that is the area that wore super hard into the side of the nest. and. Uh, like I said, I'm not going after it with a microscope, and uh, you know, uh, I've been criticized that my testing is not the most scientific in the world. But you know, based off my eyes and what I'm seeing here, and 10 years of experience as a machine designer, um, I'm extremely happy with the results of this TPU rubber. Um, you know, I would certainly recommend it to my customers uh, as Class A safe for Chrome. Um, paint, we're still going to do some testing on. Um, I've got some painted parts that, uh, as soon as I can get some, some permissions lined up, we're going to start working on those next. But chrome looks pretty good. 